different views on your window ledge Coffee is gone cold, it's like time froze Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be back again and doing some tutorials that gave me so much more energy um, it's been a while, I know, um, it's been like really very hectic, but uh, enough of that reason. I am back and I did this look today. This is more of like my daytime glam look. You know, I, I know there will be a lot of parties and, uh, you know, uh, picnic parties. And this is what I came up with. Very light lips, and but nice and luminous. And, you know, it looks more refreshing, not too heavy on the eyes. Of course, it's so much nicer um, to have um, some falsies just because my eyelashes are not that long. And that would emphasize, 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 emphasize actually, you know, my features of my eyes. So I'm really very excited. The summertime is really great i hope it will always be like that um vacations here and vacations there but please do not forget to you know glam up even if it's daytime or nighttime or any time of the day enjoy it girl do not forget to subscribe so that you will get all the notifications of all my videos i try i would try my very best to put up a uh, a video every week so please do not forget forgot forget the uh to subscribe in my channel it's that red button down on your right side when you're watching your video so again um i'll see you guys next time and please keep on watching hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i will be doing a look of a daytime glam look i got lost for a minute over there but i am back aren't you happy i'm back I felt like I would have been gone for such a long time and now to get started I will be starting with my primer and we should not forget about today I will be using my um, Smashbox photo finish and this is the foundation primer and I got this in light yeah it's pretty bright yeah here's the Smashbox photo finish and then I will go ahead and rub it all over my face Gently, of course. And then I will be using my, um, this is my Maybelline um, Dream Liquid Mousse. I will include this um, highlighter. I just don't remember which highlighter this is, the liquid highlighter, but I got this from my BoxyCharm, I think last year, and this is the only time that I'm able to use it, and it will give you this amazing luminous glow in your face. So, um, if you hear my baby in the background screaming, it's just because she's looking for her daddy. But anyway, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna apply that all over my face. And of course, you know, right now it, it might not seem very, um, you know, what was that for? But later on when everything sets, you will see how it all finished. And before we go forward, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, this is from the Soap and Glory, the Pucker Up. I kind of like a little Pucker Up thing. I'm so kind of like into Kylie Jenner right now. It's just that I don't have the Kylie Jenner. It's just not so interesting for me. I'm not exactly sure. It's probably just me. So um, I did put on my um, concealer and um, I did use my MAC concealer in N30, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that all over. And I've been loving this brush. I'm not exactly sure. I th I'm not exactly sure which brush is this. I'm gonna later on. I'm gonna put that in the description box below. And then I'm gonna set my eyes with uh, the setting powder, of course. And with this one, I'm sorry I was not able to show it, but I did use the Eat Eat It Cosmetics, um, the No Pores No More, something like that. I'm not. Please, I'm trying to butcher some um, names here, I'm sorry. And of course, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Pomade in this for my brows. My brows are not well done lately, but I'm planning to get them all trimmed and cut. And I always use this pomade. It's like my go-to, like, 
in years. Of primer, I'm using the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer, and I'm just gonna apply that in my um, eyelids just so to keep the eyeshadow in place for kind of like the rest of the day. And this palette is from Tarte, and this is very cute. I love the saying in the front. You know, it's very inspirational, you know. Oops, sorry about that. But yes, I will continue putting on, like, this. I'm using this as my base primer. Um, I'm not base primer, I'm sorry. I'm using it as, a, at my, as my base shadow, just so, you know, um, the application of the other colors would be so much easier for me. And then I totally, why am I failing to show you guys which eyeshadow I'm using? And this is probably the one that is not so dark. But I will definitely, um, you know, include those names in the description box below. If you click that button, like a little arrow button, you know, um, everything will slide down and all the descriptions will be there. Information of all the makeups that I have used. So... I'm sorry about that. So while applying my um, eyeshadow, this eyeshadow, it didn't seem to be so easy to, um, you know, blend. For some reason, I've been having some issues of the blending of this eyeshadow. It's pretty, um, what should we call this? It's not, I don't say it, it's hard. It's just like a little bit more um, challenging to blend. And then there you go, I'm putting on some other color that is a little shimmery. Um, it wasn't too shimmery, but it's really nice and simple. Great for daytime look, of course. But, you know, um, every time you say daytime look, everybody expects you to be, you know, uh, plain and simple. But I kind of want to change it. That's why, I, as you see in the title, it's a daytime glam look. I'm all about glam, even if it's daytime. You know, I go to my office and I always want to look very much presentable. So, of course, I will put some um, shadows on my bottom liner. And, you know, I want it a little darker just to make a defining look in my eyes. And then I will use my eyeliner from Tarte also. Um, I promise this is not a um, sponsorship. It just so happened that I'm using the same kind. And I must say that this eyeshadow I mean why do I keep on saying eyeshadow this eyeliner from Tarte which I covered my eyes so you guys couldn't see it it's very pointy and it's just really nice it's so easy to apply And for my favorite um, lower lash liner, I mean my, you know, my bottom lash liner, I love using my Marc Jacobs. That's my go-to liner at all times. I don't know what I would do without this because this is like my favorite. And then I will be putting on my lashes. There you go. That was quick. I just feel like I didn't have to. And now I am using the mascara from Salma Hayek's line. I'm not exactly sure, but this is the best for my lower lashes since I have a very thin lower lashes. And for my contour, I'm using my Too Faced Cocoa Contour. And I'm not doing like a really point, on the point contour here. Just enough to kind of like give my face a little bit more of a definition because, you know, mama has kind of like a round face here and I kind of want to make it slimmer, you know, for a great selfie. 
And of course, I will have to contour my nose. I like my nose to be a little slimmer too. So, yep, uh, that's a little secret or maybe not. Uh, you know, a lot of people are doing it. So, you know, it's kind of like my suggestion, especially when you want to you want to do a little bit of a selfie. That'll be perfect. So, yes, and I'm using my Eda brush here and this is like my favorite. And then I'm going to use my Too Faced Bronzed and Poreless. And again, I'm not sponsored by uh, Too Faced, but definitely I've been loving their products. What is not to love with their products? And also I'm using the Too Faced Meteorites and they have different colors and in it. But it just gives me a little bit of like the, you know, sheen on it. Though I was not really seeing any kind of effect, but it just gives my skin a beautiful glow. So I had to use my Chanel um, blushes. I totally forgot the name of it, but I'm definitely going to include that in the description box. And then I am using my Naked ugh, Highlighter. I'm sorry about that. But yes, I've been loving that too. And for my lip liner, I am using my Rimmel in, um, in Petal. And, you know, because my lips would be like, the look of my lips today is 945 from Maybelline. And I've been loving these colors lately. You know, those like, I don't want to colorful for the summer. So I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Translucent Pressed Powder. I call this my selfie powder because it just gives the perfect, perfect powder. Um that prevents any white cast when you take some pictures and it gives you this flawless um, look. So I'm also um, bronzing up and highlighting my Nyclage and my shoulders just to keep uh, giving me that uh, effect. So this is the finished look that I uh, accomplished for today and thank you so much for staying tuned with me up to the end appreciate for subscribing and if you're not subscribed please feel free to subscribe in the video and I like this. Bye!